Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Ja Willy 5 I'm continuing my review on the Samsung um, <clears throat> Chrono 7 Ultra. Uh, this is the NP780 version. Uh, it is really cool. Um, this thing right here, the back cover. <gasps> wow, that was a beast to take off. It was a beast to take off, but I finally got it off. Um, and look, hopefully, uh, no scratches or anything. I don't see any. I don't see any around the side or anything. But yep, this was manufactured in January 2013. Um, just to give you a little update of what's going on inside this huge, huge battery. Uh, this battery, for those of you that would like to know, this is a lipo or lipolymer battery that is. Uh, 650 milliamp hours so that's pretty dang awesome for a laptop battery so i'm pretty sure i will get that battery life that they claim uh, is on this beast two jbl speakers are sit right here they're the down facing speakers so um that's how those things work now there is built-in ram right here it says ddr3 only well the built-in ram is four gigs and then it comes with the A data, another four gigs of A data. All right, let's see if I can get this to focus. There it goes. All right, so 1600 uh, with 11 being the the clocks. So uh, that's not too bad. But anyways, that is four gigs and then four gigs built in. So I wasn't expecting that, but that's okay. Um, I'm not really gonna use more than eight gigs on this beast anyways. Now I will not be re uh, taking this thing apart. I'm not gonna be taking this thing apart again. So what I am gonna do is take out the hard drive in this thing. Um, the reason why I'm taking out the hard drive is to go ahead and put this in there. Cause remember if there's no, if there was a MSATA slot, which on this motherboard, I don't see any MSATA slots anywhere. I see this one, but it's already been taken up, and that's not the correct one. That's not the correct connector that I want. Um, but yeah, there's no MSATA slots in here, and that's unfortunate. And I am not going to be removing the board to see if they're on the other side, which is a possibility, but I'm just not going to do it. Too much stuff on this brand new laptop, and I definitely do not have the money to be messing up stuff. Um, not saying that I will, but just in case kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take out this hard drive. And this is a one terabit hard drive. It's only 5,400 RPM. So do I want something faster? Definitely. And I am going to get that. That was probably not a good idea, but that's okay. Uh, battery seems secure up in there. That was actually stupid on my part. It could have ended not so well. Oh, and letting you know, there is on this, whenever you take it apart, on this thing, it shows right here. That's no battery. There's like a little thing that you have to push. So if you're gonna replace the RAM, which there's a RAM slot so you can replace the RAM on it, but it's saying that um, for you to kill the battery prior to doing so. Now what that means is, is that this thing is, the battery is obviously not removable by the user, um, but you press this button, there's a button that's like right here on the battery. You press it and then the battery go, goes ahead and turns off for you. Um, that ensures that whenever you're taking stuff apart, you're not accidentally um, messing up the motherboard or you're not accidentally um, killing the RAM stick because you're taking it apart when there's still live power on the motherboard. So anyways, that's a precaution that you have to take and I actually, the only way that I knew that is I actually read through the instruction books, which I never do, but you know, I was just making sure that there was no way uh, that I'll be able to take that casing off that's easier because my goodness like I said that thing was a beast to take off I promise you uh, you probably do not want to do it more than once because it is ridiculous it's kind of like taking off a, a tablet's back cover if you never did it before so let's go ahead and pop this beast out thinking it's got a proprietary connector which it does so let me go ahead and take these screws that I just removed, take them out before they go everywhere. 
Yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and take it out. I'll get the screws later. All right, so I'm about to remove this. There goes the hard drive. Hard drive, as you can see, it's a Samsung Momentous hard drive. Uh, oh, there's no Momentous XT, otherwise I would probably just leave it in there, but just a regular Momentous hard drive. Um, so there's no anything built into it to make it, uh, it's a one terabyte and it's not gonna make it go faster or anything. And plus, uh, I do want that speed that I would get from this SSD. So, without further ado, let us go ahead and remove these screws, wherever the hell they will be. There's one wedged, I'll have to get that later. We'll get that later, but let's just go ahead and cut the video off because that's all I wanted to show you guys is that there is, uh, at least on this end, there are absolutely no MSATA connectors, so I will be hooking up this drive. All right, guys, uh, this is Jaw Willy 5 I'm um, giving a review on open, or actually a disassembly, not really a disassembly, but already disassembled review of the Samsung Kronos 7 Ultra, and I'm out of here.